How to use Workday International function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to explain the Workday International function in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. <laughs> The Workday International function works almost exactly like the Workday function. If you want to learn about the Workday function, check out the link. And in the Workday function, you can find out a day after certain workday and in the workday international function you can do the same but the difference is in the workday function by default the weekend is considered saturday and sunday but in the workday international function you can modify it. you can change it tuesday Wednesday, and so on and also if you have two weekends in a week and they are like sunday and uh, tuesday you can also consider that so the workday international function actually allows you to modify modify your weekend so we have order place date in column a and we have processing time in days that means for this order we need one day processing time and then we want to find out the delivery date okay so if i write here workday international you can see this one workday international returns the serial number of the day before or after a specified number of workdays with custom weekend parameters so this is the difference between workday and workday international you can add custom weekends here okay so, so like this and the first parameter is start date just like the workday function so select it this is our start date press comma and select the processing time or how many days you need to skip and now weekend if you select here one it will consider saturday and sunday as weekends and here is the list of total weekends if you have only one weekend say week you can select it from here so i'm going to select sunday and monday as weekends and i don't have any holidays here if you have any additional holidays you can select the data range where you have added all your holidays and if you don't have that just don't use this parameter and if i close parenthesis and press enter so this is our delivery day now today is 29th november but if we use one working day to process this order it will be one because the workday international like the workday function it doesn't consider the starting day as a workday okay so this is the workday international function now let's say we have a weekend that is not in the list let's say i want the weekend to be monday and wednesday how i can add it so in the weekend parameter you need to add a double quotation and you need to write inside the double quotation now by default workday international function considers or starts the week from monday so if i write here zero that means we have monday as a working day if you need to customize your weekends you will have to add seven zero here so this seven zero means you have seven work day now if you add one that means it's the first day of your week which is monday and it will be your weekend then we add the zero as tuesday then we need another weekend at wednesday so i can add one there that means every one is your weekends and every zero is your weekdays week starts from monday and you can add only seven digit here okay now you can customize any way you want so if i press enter so this is our workday international function remember it doesn't consider starting date as working date you can add holidays also inside this function you can customize your weekends according to your need by default you have 17 customization for two weekends a week and for a single weekend each week but if you need to customize that you can do that also so this is how you can use the workday international function in microsoft excel thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial please share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you can support the channel through patreon thank you thanks for watching